Welcome to video 192 in series 3 and now it's time to implement the NPC Relations UI. Okay, I'm going to add this new UI to the uh, Canvas menu, so I'll just turn that on. I'll just uh, turn this stats window off. All right, inside of it, I'm going to add a new panel, so UI panel. And I'm going to anchor it down to the bottom right. And I'll change its size as well. So width 600 and height 300. And uh, oh, let me just reposition that. There we go. Okay. Uh, as for the uh, appearance of it, I don't want any uh, fill there. So I'm just going to get rid of the alpha. It will be invisible. The contents though will have appearance. I'll add a content size fitter. And also a grid layout group. I'll have padding, so 10, 10, 10, 10. And then the cell size itself, the width will be a 570. And the height of each cell, 70. And as for constraint, yes, I do want to give it a fixed column count, only one column. So one, so it's a table which will have rows, and you'll see that uh, get constructed soon. I'll also call it panel faction relations. There we go. Okay, add another panel to it. Okay, you can see that's already taken the size of the grid layout group of the apparent panel. Now I'm going to just call this panel relations. I'm going to, I'm going to turn it into a prefab as well in just a bit. I'm going to set the color right down to black. And I'll add a grid layout group. Okay. And as for the padding, I'll just set it to 5, 5, 5, 5. I'll set the height to 50. And I'll set the alignment middle center and also the constraint a fixed row count to just one. And I'm going to have buttons basically inside of there. I'm going to use them as labels. They're not going to actually be buttons, but uh, you'll just see that in just a moment. So as for that, I do need to uh, turn it into a prefab. So I've already got my NPC prefabs folder here. I think I'll just use that. I'll just drop it in. OK. And uh, just looking at it, I just realized I forgot the spacing. So I'll just add that to it. And good. Now it's applied back in the parent. Now I'm going to add a UI button. And I'm going to just call this label relations. There we go. I'm going to set the color right down to like black. And I'm going to turn off interactable. So it's not a button that you can press. It'll just be showing information. I'm just thinking about it. I also don't want it that opaque as well. So it should be a bit uh, see-through. So I'll just roughly put it like there. Now as for the text, I do want to change that. I would like to change the font size to like 20. Um, I'd also like to change the color to full white, so it's easy to read. And I reckon that should do it. So I'll turn that into a prefab as well. So you see there, I've taken the label relations and turned it into a prefab, because I'm going to use code to add the relevant number of uh, labels and the relevant number of panel relations as rows. Now let me just, uh, just show you what it looks like, because I'm going to delete this in just a moment. So there you go. This is what it looks like. You add, it's going to have a whole bunch of uh, entries in there. And maybe it's a little bit small, yeah, a bit difficult to see there. Uh, let me add a few more. So you can see this is how the table is going to work. It's just going to be a series of panel relations. And inside of those will be labels for each faction. And it'll show the, the faction name and the rating of that uh, faction as well. Now let me just delete all of that. So it's just going to be an empty panel factions. Let me turn off the canvas menu as well, since that should always start in the off condition. And it's time to write a new script as well while we're, while we're at it. And uh, let me just create that. So a new C sharp script. I'm going to call it game manager underscore NPC relations UI. So of course, open that up. I will have five variables, private game manager, NPC relations master, NPC relations master, 
Private Game Manager Master, Game Manager Master, Public Transform Panel Faction Relations, and that's what you uh, just have in the UI right now. And these are the two prefabs, Public Game Object, Panel Relations Prefab, Public Game Object, Label Relations Prefab. And before I go too far, I do remember I need using Unity Engine dot UI. All right. I won't need start and update, so I'll get rid of those. Inside of set initial references, I have NPC Relations Master is equal to get component Game Manager NPC Relations Master, and Game Manager Master is equal to get component Game Manager Master. All right, so let me write a new method. This is void clear UI. So what it does, it just deletes all the rows. That's basically it. And I'll draw the UI after that with all the new content. So if panel faction relations dot transform dot child count is zero, then return. There's no point trying to clear an empty panel faction relations like how it is right now. It's empty. Uh, but if there is something in it, then the child count will be greater than zero. So for each transform panel relation in panel faction relations, destroy panel relation dot game object. And so that's nice and easy and it will get rid of the row. Okay, next is void draw UI. So when drawing the UI, the first step is to clear the UI. So that's what we've already written. Then for each NPC relations array, NPC array, in NPC relations master dot NPC relations array, so we're going to step through the NPC array, which is on the game manager uh, relations script that we've already seen before. And game object panel relation is equal to instantiate panel relations prefab as game object panel relation dot transform dot set parent panel faction relations comma false. Uh, so here, basically, I'm creating um, each row. So I'm adding a panel relation, instantiating it, and then I'm just uh, adding that to the parent, uh, which is the panel factions relation. So what I'm doing, if I go back here, it makes a bit more sense to look at it here, is in this, for each faction that exists, I'm adding a row, which is the prefab that I just made, the panel relations. So add one for each faction. And uh, and then once they're being instantiated, I'm saying that the parent is this particular game object, and I've got a direct reference to it in the script, well, through the inspector, which you'll see in a moment. Okay, now after that, I want to add a header label. So, you know, who is the row of data for? Who does it belong to? You know, the player, faction, whatever. So game object header label is equal to instantiate label relations prefab as game object header label dot transform dot set parent panel relation dot transform comma false and uh, header label dot get component in children text dot text is equal to npc array dot npc faction so like for example if the first uh, npc faction or faction in the uh, script is player then the header label is player well you'll see how it works in just a moment anyway now after that, I have to populate each of the rows, right? So for each NPC relations, NPC relation in NPC array dot NPC relations, a game object label relations is equal to instantiate label relations prefab as game object, label relations dot transform dot set parent, panel relation dot transform comma false, label relations dot get component in children, text dot text is equal to npc relation dot npc tag plus uh, empty quotation mark just a space inside plus npc relation dot npc faction rating dot two string so that way it'll show each you know what the relation of each uh, faction is to the header label to the faction mentioned in the header label all right so in on enable i'll now have set initial references draw ui game manager master dot menu toggle event plus equal draw ui and here's the corresponding unsubscribe and i'll just save all that so you can see i'm just making use of the old menu toggle event and well just adding another method to subscribe to it 
Uh, so that is it. Pretty simple. Let's go ahead and uh, attach that and start making use of it. Okay, and now I need to add the panel faction relations, which is this one. Drop that in. Now my prefabs. So the uh, panel relations prefab, there we go. And label relations. All right. So I'll save that. Just bring that down a bit. Maximize on play instead. And try it out. And uh, there we go. So we've got... Um, you can see these are the panel relations that have been instantiated for each one. It puts in a header label, so this is for the player. What is player's relation with other with the player faction? Well, then it's a 100 that's shown there. There's a label there for it. Then friendly 100, enemy 25, blah blah blah. And yeah, okay, I can see that the um, NPC relations have changed. If I shoot at the golems, they'll just become more hostile and yeah okay well that's it that's why it's working so there you go you can see everything having updated it's all working very nicely and it's being displayed properly okay so you could easily move that wherever you wanted you don't have to have it in the same place as me but that's it for this video so thanks for watching and i'll see you later